Good to see you back, Hunter of the Wild. Thank you very much for all the feedback to my nine episodes that I have uploaded. A lot of emails I've just gone through, a couple of hundreds actually, and there were a couple of questions in there that I wanted to address. So I've started up another game and I would like to show you a few more things. One question was around night hunting and that will be the case now. So it's now eight o'clock. Again, we have this lamp that we can use. But anyway, the, interest, uh, the interesting part really is what is different in night hunting there should be a track nearby uh, than there is when hunting during the day so I will just walk around and see if we can uh, find some animals now during the night see if we see a difference as far as how they react how they sense us after what we've seen in the former episodes running currently does not seem to do too much damage We can hear a deer calling back there somewhere. Oh, there you go. Oh, look at this. There's a whole herd of fallow deer. Some of them spooked. I just turned on the lamp. See how far this goes. Wow. So I can really light the whole area there. While I'm sneaking there, there's something I have not shown you yet. When I hit the middle mouse key, I remove the scope. So this is the iron sights and the scope is back. So very simple to add and remove the scope. I missed to show you this until somebody mentioned it. I'll try the same here, binos with the light. And I can light the whole area here. I don't know if animals will be scared by the light. Oh, there they are. Look at this. Some are scared, some are not. Let's try a shot. Oh, now they go. Which was to be expected. So maybe I should sneak up on them without the light. I mean, that makes sense. If you walk around with a flashlight, that animals will be suspicious. I kind of miss the glowing eyes when you f flash uh, light at animals at night. The eyes should be glowing bright.
So we have a herd of four fallow deer. They ran away but stayed together, it seems. I can hear something. But I'm not sure if I should use the light or not. Over here. I have something to my right here. There they are again. So now let's try this with the weapon. you agree this was a rather decent shot so yes the fallow deer is here there we go night hunting fallow deer getting some money some xps quick will Quick kill bonus is only 11%. I scared them around for a while. But there you go, this is night hunting. The next thing I wanted to try and show you was the fast traveling. So apparently we can fast travel to these places. Oh, I have to right click it. Message box and a lot of banks. Do you want to fast travel to this location? Okay. Here we go. And here we are back to the outpost. Let's check the time. Six minutes after eight. So now here we go. I want to try out the, the resting part. my current i don't see my current balance but this is going to cost me 250 rest what happened still the same time the question is still here I'm a bit confused now. Rest. Next reduction. So now it costs 2,000. Did they already spend money? Oh, I'm an idiot. Here you go. I have to change the time. Change the time. Oh, the reduction is the reduction of the price. So for the next two hours, Resting will cost me 2,000. I'm going to spend this just for you guys to see how it works and for myself as well. I want to travel to, well, actually, I want to be it. I want it to be 9 in the morning. There we go. It's going to cost 2,000. Boom. And it is 9 o'clock in the morning. I spent $2,000. So we figured this out. Then the next thing was that I struggled with buying anything here from the cash. So apparently this is how it works. I go in, I check out what's available, I select a weapon, and then here, buy. <laughs> I missed that last time. I'm gonna buy it now. And I should own a bow. Let's go to the inventory. And here I would like to equip. My bow. Ooh, 
which isn't there. I go to the storage. Weapons. Well, I own it, obviously. I own the bow. Well, let me go to the store and buy arrows. I'm gonna buy a bunch of broadheads. How many are there? It doesn't tell me, but I'll buy some. It should really tell me how many arrows those are. So going to the storage, how many have I got? It doesn't tell. Going back here. can't figure out how to equip it so let's read everything here it doesn't really say anything right clicking doesn't do anything so dear developers can you please make this simple I mean this should be as straightforward as possible Weapons, I only show the rifle here. Oh well, we own a bow. Uh, eventually we'll figure this out. What I also want to show you is small game. There was a question or multiple questions about the animals that we have here. Are there turkeys? Are there white tails? Well, this is really a Euro European map. It's supposed to be in Germany because of all the German texts, all the because of the Hirschfelden name, which means pretty much red deer fields. And the animals I've seen so far that are huntable are red fox, red deer and fallow deer. But we've also seen squirrels and hares. So I, I will try and shoot one of these small game and show you. You can, you can shoot them, but you cannot collect them. You're not going to earn any money with it. And usually what works well for seeing small game is the fields like the hay fields that are cut so you don't have to there's a couple of yellow fields ahead I will go and check this out so you will see the small game better if there's no grass oh also wanted to mention this there was stuttering in one of my episodes this was not due to the game or I should say it was in combination with the game and fraps I've been using fraps to record the game so far to have a better quality uh, but this was really stuttering horribly I had to switch to the Windows 10 built-in software to record the game have some other issues with that but anyway um, that was the reason for the stuttering so before you say oh actually this stutters even on a newer computer um, it was really the reason um, because I was recording with fraps oh there is something just had a hair running I believe yeah there's a hair if I'm not mistaken
unless I'm running suddenly into a fourth species. I've seen some wild boars in the previews. And they would, of course, perfectly fit here. But I see no tracks, so small game do not make any tracks. There goes the hair. And there goes the shot. So here we go. H key holsters. That means um, you're removing all your items. And there's a little bunny here. As you see, I cannot collect it. I don't have any option to pick this up. And the uh, the position will always be like this. The bunny will lie down like this. Pretty cute. Last but not least, there was a question about the rendering distance. The famous 220 meters in the Hunter Classic. What is the rendering distance? Oh, it's laying down. Look, this might be perfect. I was go I was just going to say I would like to figure this out, and now it's laying down, so the chance that it's walking away is small. So I will walk backwards. Let's see here. Should stay open. Sorry, what you're going to see in the next few minutes is not useful at all here. All the brushes I get through. The bushes. Oh, now it's going downhill. So I was hoping I could walk backwards here and beat the famous number. But um, I'm running into shrubs here. And there's going to be a problem here. I think the rendering distance is more than 220, but the fact that we cannot really figure this out probably also shows it's not really going to ever matter unless you're up on a hill. I'm really trying here, but now I'm I'm sinking. <laughs> uh, too bad. Let's see. Let's see. We don't usually give up this fast. So I'll have to try a different direction. And what we also just learned is when you spot an animal feeding or laying down, you can detect a feeding area. So. If we keep going here and look at the map, where is this? So this feeding area we just discovered, not by going there and picking up a track, but just simply by spotting an animal doing this activity. I'm walking here freely, loud through the shrubs at 170 meters. Oh no, more like 150 meters. And right now the animal is not scared. Uh, I was still hoping to put a distance between the two of us here.
I wish it would stand further up there. Yeah, we're again sinking down here. Uh, well, you can say I didn't try. Maybe here. Also, the distance does not matter when it comes to detecting the animal or IDing it or getting the info. You can see I can still get the E, push the E key at this distance away. Now please let us be the 220, yes. Assuming I'm looking at the animal, if I look where it stands, 240 at least. Excellent, I'm still going. I'm still going, nice, nice, nice. So, never give up. <laughs> And I'm sinking here slowly, but but guys, this is 270 already, 280 maybe. Maybe one day there will be an official statement. The famous rendering distance is five kilometers. But I'm at 290 now, and again stuck here. Oh, look where I am. <laughs> this is too funny. Where is it? I think I lost it. Don't even know where to look. Yes, pretty much straightforward here. Oh, back there, back there. So we can do close to 300 meters. Look at this. Still there, 300 meters. And we can still see the animal. Can we shoot it at 300? How do I zoom anyway? Mouse wheel? Mouse wheel is zooming. How easy is that? However, remember you have to hold down the key with the right uh, mouse button and then scrolling the wheel at the same time with the other finger. Um, Maybe some acrobats can do that. What the heck? I just ho held the breath and it's going everywhere. So, ugh. look at this. Super long shot. <laughs> Certainly missed. However, it's still there. So the sound doesn't travel all the way to it. It's still there, but the gun is swaying like crazy. All right, just for fun, can I hit the deer? I'm not going to kill it likely, but at least ugh, this is hard work. Where are you going? Where did it go? Wow, 
Wow, this is super loud. Anyway, we learned a few new things. I shot at it from about 300 meters. And it stayed there. Wherever it went. I'm glad to have been able to show you a little bit more about this game. Thank you very much. Stay in touch. Might as well